And there it is. That is the start of a brand new year. And you know, it speaks to how isolated this place is when back in 1884, some bearded men in lands afar decided to put a date line down through what they thought was the quietest part of Earth, through the Pacific Ocean. And through that little quirk, where we are right now, is the first city in the entire world to see the sun. So where am I? Well, I'm in New Zealand, at an east coast town called Tairawhiti, or Gisborne. It's on an exposed part of the east coast, making it a swell magnet that produces monster fish on offshore reefs, if you know where to go. We're launching at a place called Tatapuri, which is a little north of Gisborne. Now, it's a tricky little ramp with a very narrow channel through the reef. Our destination today, an outer reef that is often unfishable due to the weather, and this makes it pretty special, both as a fishing spot as well as for diving, if you're brave enough. It's here that I hope to find my target species, the spectacular looking pink Mau Mau, and hopefully some big ones. And what we're looking for is one tiny little rock, about the size of a house. Hey Dean, look at that kingy man. Well, one thing we do know. <laughs> See you later, bro. This whole area is foul, and there's just <laughs> it's stacked with fish through here, and it's the unmistakable wobble of uh, old kingfish sign. But it's pink now, now that we're after, man. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. We're about 25, 30 k's off the coast of Gisborne, and. If you know where you're going, there's this little rock that comes up to within about 13, 14 metres of the surface. And what makes this place so cool is that you only need to go another couple of kilometres and you're actually off the edge of the continental shelf, drops to like 800 metres. The focus is Pink Mau Mau. In fact, the largest that have ever been taken anywhere in the world have been taken right here. But the focus, Ross, is Pink Mau Mau. And the problem, I'm, the reason I'm saying that is because there's so many kingfish through here. Although, we're number six child on the way. I think Ross has probably earned the right to bring a couple of those home as well. So we, we're going to try and avoid the kingfish and stay focused on, on pink Mau Mau. But man, of all the places in the world to do it, this is the place. And on my very first dive, I'm greeted by another type of local. Wow, wow huge frogs here. With rock, rock, the huge bonzi. And that won't be the only shark we see. He's coming straight for you. Next drop, and I'm suddenly amongst a huge school of kingfish, but not my target, so I just give them a wave. Look at the size of that one! The pink Mau Mau I'm after are much deeper, so a quick swap of guns, grab my breath, and down at 22 metres, I spy my target. Got him. That is a beauty. Oh, you can see why these fish is nickname is the Widowmaker. They they often just stay just out of range until you follow them a little bit further and a little bit further. I had to swap to a real gun to, to get deep enough and I ended up shooting that fish at 22 and a half metres. Well, what a great dive for us. The perfect boat for spearfishing and diving. The Genome Mary Fisher 795.